Magandang araw! Sa video na ito, alamin natin ang iba't ibang pamamaraan to describe or represent relations and functions. In the previous episode, you have seen the common way to represent a function which is through sets of ordered pairs. There are other ways to represent a function and a relation. And these are Mapping diagram Table of values And through a graph Let's begin with mapping diagram. In a mapping diagram, arrows are used to show the relationship between the x values and the y values. Let us consider this example. How can we know if this mapping diagram illustrates a function or a mere relation? Kumpara sa set of ordered pairs, madali lamang alamin kung function ba ang isang relation when represented through a mapping diagram. Tingnan lang natin ang mga inputs or x values tapos sundan ang mga arrows para makita kung ilang values na range ang paired sa bawat x value. Pakatandaan, a relation is a function if and only if each element of the domain is paired exactly to only one value in the range. So, is it a function or not? In this example, the given mapping diagram illustrates a function. Although x values negative 2 and positive 2 are paired to same y value which is 4, still, each of the elements of the domain negative 2, 2, 4, 5, 6 are paired to only one value in the range. There is no x value na paired sa dalawang y values. Therefore, it is a function. What about this one? Is it a function or not? The mapping diagram shown is not a function. Why? As you can see, negative 1 is paired to two y values which are 3 and 4. Also, the x value 1 is paired to the y values 1 and 2. Therefore, this mapping diagram is not a function. It is a mere relation. Functions and relations can also be represented through a table of values. What is a table of values? A table of values is a two-row table in which the first row is the x values and the second row is for the y values. So let us have this example. Is it a function or not? As you can see, the domain or the values of x are 1, 2, 3, 4, while the values of y are 2, 4, 6, and 8. It is clearly a function because wala naman x value ang paired sa more than one y value. This time, let's talk about representing relations and functions through graphs. Take a look at these graphs. How can we know if a certain relation is a function if it is represented through a graph? The answer is to use the vertical line test. What is a vertical line test? Using the vertical line test, a graph represents a function if and only if each vertical line will intersect that graph at most once. A vertical line shall be drawn to the given graph. If it will intersect the graph at most once, isang beses lamang, then it is a function. Otherwise, it is just a relation. Let us see which of the given graphs will pass the vertical line test. Let us examine the first graph. Is it a function or not? As you can see, isang beses lang nag-intersect ang vertical line sa ating graph. Therefore, it is a function. Now for the second graph, let us find out if it is a function or not. Using the vertical line test, it is not a function. Why? Because the vertical line intersected the graph twice. And that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.